So in this video, I'm going to be building a hip clamp. It's used for cattle. You know, basically, if something's wrong, they may lie down and they're unable to get up. And uh, it's used to to lift them and get blood circulation back into their legs and it helps them on the recovery process. So I'm using a 25 by 3 millimeter round tube, definitely strong enough for this application. So starting out cutting a few pieces. So yeah, you see I'm filling the tubes with sand. It's not actually necessary, but I'm doing it because it just keeps the tubes more uniform, more round when they go into the rolling process. So it's not something that has to be done, but I'm doing it, I just think it's better. Then we weld end caps onto the other side. Here I'm going to start rolling them into a semicircle. This is a roller that I built several years ago. Definitely not the greatest, but it'll get the job done this time. So now I'm just going to cut off the excess material and throw out the sand and then we can continue with the project. So now I'm just cutting the next pieces necessary. Once again the same 25 by 3 millimeter round tube. So now I'm setting everything up to be welded. Now that I've got two identical parts, um, I grind down the welds to be flush. I welded them very hot so there is pretty much full penetration so it doesn't affect the strength to grind the welds down. They have to be ground down or else they will cause problems. So 
here I'm cutting a flat bar, it's a 50 by 8 millimeter flat bar. This goes in at the tops and you'll see me weld them in now. So I'm cutting some more tube for the next components. We'll also see how they fit together. These have to be drilled. The one gets a 16 millimeter hole through it and the other a 20 millimeter hole. So my milling machine's head is too close to the table to fit the larger drill bits in so I first drilled the nominal size in the vise and then I set them up like this to drill the larger holes. some deburring. Now I'm going to make the brackets that hold these parts onto the assembly. You will see how it fits together in a minute. So it's once again 50 by 8 millimeter flat bar and they've got to get a hole in the middle to fit the 25 millimeter round tube. Um, so I'm just sort of centering it up on the lathe here since I don't have a 25 mil drill bit, so I'm going to just drill it and then bore it out to 25 millimeters. And now we're setting it up for welding.
this side gets a nut and the other side gets a bush actually two nuts on the side so as you can see I'm setting up the, the nuts with a piece of threaded rod just to align it So as you can see, I used uh, washers and then just welded them on. So here we are on the lathe to turn a bush. So here we weld the bush into the part. So these two halves that we've been building, they are held together by um, hinges, which are bolted use a bolt as, as the pivot um, so I've got to take out the original uh, hinge pin so that we can use a bolt like this and yeah I'm just setting up the hinges into position so that they can be welded into place Here I'm just welding some end caps onto the open ends of the tubes. And now we're just going to use a flap disc on the angle grinder to smooth everything out and make it look good. So now I'm going to start with the lead screw. Now I'm going to drill a 16 millimeter hole through the shaft for the handle to fit in. Here 
here I'm cutting a piece of threaded rod to be used as a lead screw. It's a M16 by two uh, millimeter pitch. And here I'm going to turn it down to eight millimeter to fit in the hole I drilled in that piece of shaft. And then also uh, machine on a taper for the welding process. This is a new piece of threaded rod but it's been on my shelf for a while so it has picked up a little bit of rust, nothing a wire wheel won't sort out. Okay so now I'm just going to weld the end cap onto the piece of threaded rod completing the lead screw. So now I'm just making the handle for the lead screw. It's a 16 millimeter rod. I'm gonna cap the ends with 16 millimeter nuts. The nut fits over, there's no need to thread this. I'm gonna weld it on anyways. And now it's time to assemble. If you don't understand exactly what a hip clamp is, Google it. Um, there's plenty of information out there. It doesn't seem like the best way to work with cattle, but it actually is very effective. And yeah, if you don't pick them up, then they actually do die. It works much better than putting a strap under the cow. There's the final project painted and I've added some padding on just to make it more comfortable for the cow. So um, I hope you enjoyed, please consider subscribing and I'll see you on the next one.